So I assume everyone gets a 5 out of 5 for yesterday. Um, that might be incorrect. That's what everyone to assume. Uh, she wrote that she checked a worksheet, but I'm assuming that she just saw that you completed your math workshops, is what someone else told me. And your workbook. Okay, well, she just wrote worksheet, so I'm a little confused by her checking system. So I'm so sorry if you did show her your workbook thing. I don't know, me and Seth will work on that in a second. Like, Tyree, you, you weren't here yesterday. Mia, did she check your workbook too? Okay, that's I didn't. Okay, well I need to I need to check that today. But before I, Miss Compton, I need Faye Florino to main office to drive. Yes, ma'am. Yes, dear. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um. So I need to check that today. I also have some people who from last week, from the day I was out last week, yay, we're starting a trend now, um, who never quite showed me their completed, uh, it was a 3.5 checkpoint. Some people turned it in, you were here, it was last Wednesday, my gosh, we worked on it all at the end of last week. We just have some people who haven't wrapped it on up. For instance, I know like I checked Natalie's yesterday because it was in my drawer and she's missed one. So she's got to fix that tiny one and she's done. Most of us just have a tiny fix. So you got to make sure that's why that first list is old stuff. So the 3.5 checkpoint, have I seen yours? Have I officially approved it? If you need me to check, call you out if you And then your workbook, that was our assignment from last Friday. Last Friday, I need to check it as well. Some people may get a chance to even work on it because they had finished their blue test, but my gosh, that's, that was their own bad. They should have done it at home then. And then... I didn't leave directions, so probably that's my bad, but Mia would tell you because she's had me before. When in doubt, turn it in. So those who did turn in their worksheet yesterday are going to get extra points from me because that's what I want. I want you to actually turn in the worksheet when I'm not here. So I know that Seth actually did math during Seth's math class, not Seth at home and did math. Um, so if you have your worksheet from yesterday, you better turn it in because it is a gray. But the like six who already turned it in this class period are going to get a bonus. I don't know. You know you. I don't know you. <laughs> no. I've got my, I've got three. Mackenzie, Mia, and Hal. They're both all three going to get a bonus. <laughs> Okay, so if you didn't turn in your worksheet from yesterday, you want to rectify that because I'm definitely taking that as a grade. Yes, dear. Darren told me. From yesterday? It being the thing. Okay. Um, tomorrow, in case you hadn't read already, tomorrow there is a quiz on matrices. You have to, if so if you want to make a list to yourself of stuff that's on it, because I'm not giving you a study guide, you have to add, you have to subtract, you have to multiply by a constant, so that's like one number out front, and you also have to multiply matrices. And I'm never going to know if you do this in your calculator, except if Addison doesn't show any work. That's the only way I'm going to know Addison did it all in a calculator. So there's potential for typos. So if you're a calculator person, make sure you type it in maybe twice or at least look over it. We talked about some easy mistakes people make with their calculators. Um, if you look at your notes, so the first, there aren't that many questions. Let me look at it. It's supposed to be today, but you know what's going to saying. I wouldn't have to do that to you. So that's why we're pushing it till tomorrow. Um, the first three are just statement of mention. What is this? A two by three, a three by two, whatever. The next couple are performing the operations. You might have to solve for a variable, which we've had to do before. So it looks kind of like you're looking at your notes, kind of like that page in your notes that you had to do last week when I was out. There are a couple problems like that, although they're really a lot simpler than those. And then there are a couple problems from your notes like... I don't know why I didn't write in this. Like down here at the bottom of page two, where they might ask you to do A plus B, so you add matrix A and matrix B, 
Or they might say 4 times C, so you multiply every entry in C by the number 4. There's some written in this notation. But that's really all that the quiz is, and it is 14 questions. So it should not take the whole class for you. So I'm going to give you another workbook assignment today. But if Seth doesn't have his workbook stuff done, seriously, once he flies through this quiz, because he should, once he flies through this quiz, he could go back to his workbook stuff and get all that done. Okay, are there any questions about the quiz tomorrow? Okay, and then Kenzie, Kenzie, when these get out, you get an extra point. Because Kenzie asked me if what we're going to talk about today is going to be on there, and it is not. Perfect. Perfect. It is not. But I can't, we can't, like, postpone notes any more days since I was out yesterday, which is my bad. Okay, I need help with the math workshops, and then we're doing page seven from the next. You need one more? Yes. What group is that? Jay, can you just write on the post it for me and tell me how many points? My strip. All right. Gotta work on it. All AP students with a pass to come and see our town in the auditorium, please collect your belongings, have your ticket in hand, and report to the auditorium at this time. Thank you. Okay. I'm needing help, and these are old math workshops. See the date, 1016. So these are not the ones the lady gave you yesterday. They're the ones before. I think I gave them to you on Friday. And I warned you, one through eight were coming up next. Okay, I'm needing help with number one. Are there any volunteers? My AP lit teacher came and told me that to ask me if I should, if you give me permission to go to the. That's fine. That's fine. Just check me too. Okay. Welcome. Teachers, at this time, please go ahead and post your attendance. Please go ahead and post your attendance at this time. Thank you. I'm going to start praying for patience. I need two today. Woo, goodness, too many in one little second now. I need serious help with number one. Can someone please help me factor? What? How many? Someone with a more concrete, fast answer because this comes in the last patience today. Brister said take, bring out a two, X to the what? Third, okay, and then Y to the, and they eventually chimed in, so we'll give her the point. We give Bruce to the point, but what's the fun in that? Okay, so we want to get another point, tell me what would be remaining. 11X to second, Y to the third, minus 7Y to the fourth, plus 9X to the third. Seth, you can get a point if you'll turn the thingy off. Thank you, Day. Yes, like off, off. Thank you, Day. You can have another point for that. Okay, so I want to help me with number two. There are four terms. Oh, I would have thought that too. What should you think of first? GCF, yes. And there is a GCF, and what is it? Or is there? There's not one. So Miss Compton lying to you. Isn't that so much fun when Miss Compton lies? Okay, so we'll go with Hunter. Hunter, you can have a point. You win. We will do your thing. Okay, uh, is there anything I can factor out of that first group? No. no. So it's seriously just x squared plus ab. Is there something I can factor out of the second group? I'm going to factor out a negative x, so I'm left with a plus b. So I've cleaned it up a bit, but I really technically haven't factored because at the end I'm not having two binomials that I could foil and check myself. So that's about the extent of that one. What a bummer. Okay, number three is not a bummer. It's a fun time. Oh my gosh, well, I love you so much. Put the chair back where it was. I'm so tired of the rolly chair moving around in my life. Put the rolly chair. Is that what you're moving with? Oh, okay, bless you. I thought you were moving the darn rolling chair. I spent half my morning trying to track that sucker now. Okay, number three. See, say it again, Hunter. 
He did. Okay, perfect. Uh, we needed two things that. Ooh, that's not perfect. That was not perfect. It multiplies to positive 6, because negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6, and it adds to a negative 5. We have a positive 5 and a negative 6, so those signs are wrong, so it's not perfect. So he didn't steal it. There's still room to grow. 2 things that multiply to negative 6 and add to 5. Say it again, Edwarda. Six times negative one is negative six. Six times negative one is positive five. Yes. So it has to be C, and you can have a point. C plus six, C minus one. You can bet if this was a multiple choice thing, Hunter's option would have been one of the options because I, like you, was ready to put it because, you know, three and two is five. Three times two is six. It made sense. Oh, except it didn't. Number four is by far my favorite for today because it involves... 16 and 225, which are perfect squares. Thank you. Get a point, table three. What's the answer? So helpful. Thirteen squares, 225? What square is 16? Okay, so it's going to be a 4M and a 4M. And then he's right, it's 15, so it's a plus 15 and a minus 15. If we fold it out, the outer and the inner would cancel out, and we would be left with 16m squared minus 225. So if you wanted to check yourself, this one would definitely check out. Okay, I'm going to jump to the other one with perfect squares, which would be what number? Oh, uh, Seth gets a point. Let's see if you can recall this one because it took me a hot minute. I know 169 is 13, but 441 is what squared? Whoa. You, you can. 21 sounds right. That sounds right. That has to be right. Okay, so 21 minus 13H and 21 plus 13H. And you table 6, you can have another point. And since we're already going in opposite order, let's just keep going. So let's do number seven. Two things that add to give me six and multiply to give me negative five. <laughs> That's funny. I said it wrong. And they add to give you, you know, multiply to give you six, add to give you negative five. Carter, you want to answer this one? Never mind, Seth was going to answer it. It's really funny, though. <laughs> It's the exact numbers you were trying to give, yeah. Okay, so Miss Compton's answered it, really. Yeah. Such a sad day. Okay, so it's negative 5 and positive 6. So literally, the exact answer Hunter gave earlier was incorrect is the correct answer for this one. Again, it all depends upon the signs. We wanted them to add to negative 5, negative 2, negative 3, add to negative 5. Negative 2 times negative 3 multiplies to 6. So it does work out on this one. It is the correct um, factors. Goodness gracious, words. Okay, let's back up to number 6. There are four terms, so I should do... You can have a point for that. So let's do grouping. i got to put them in groups. Okay, what can I pull out of the first group? Mm-hmm, n squared. So I'm left with n plus 2. What can I pull out of the second group? Yes, you can have a point and you can have a point. I'm going to pull out a negative 9. So I'm left with an n plus 2. If I just pulled out a 9, I wouldn't have had the same sign design. And this is what I wanted. Why am I happy? Mia said it first. The two parentheses match. N plus 2, N plus 2. So my final answer is N squared minus 9 and N plus 2. But actually, that's not my final answer. That's not my final answer. One of these things I can factor further. Yes, and I knew I could factor it further because of that perfect square number. 
So my final answer should be what? <laughs> what goes in the middle one? Positive or negative? You said it first, so you can have it. Okay, again, I need to do this because I see that 9. Anytime I see a perfect square, I start thinking, can I do something about that? Okay, we've got one last one left. And let's do number 5. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Let's do number 5, and I need something to factor out. Tomorrow we're going to do 9 through 12. I know there's a quiz tomorrow. I'm sorry. It's not going to take that long. We're doing 9 through 12, so if you're trying to get ahead, get those done tonight. I can factor out an X that said... Okay, and you hit our point for that, so it's X to the 4th plus 7X third, Y to the 3rd minus 8Y to the 4th plus 14Y. Okay, now what should I do? Yes, Mia. You should do grouping. Is that what you said? That's what I thought. And you can have a point. Okay, so if I do grouping with my two little groups, I'm still going to leave that X on the outside. What can I pull out of my first group? Seth, you're about to lose your point. What can I pull out of the first group? Good day. You're very good at these. Pull out X to the third. You can have a point. You're left with X plus 7 Y to the third. <coughs> Now what can I factor out of the second group? Um, I'm going to factor out a negative y, 2y. You can pull out a 2. And you would be left with 4y to the third plus 7. But I'm not happy because they don't match. So we failed. So really, Seth was right. All we could really do on this problem that was factoring was pull out that GCF of an X. Whoa. What? How sad. That's sad. It makes me sad when I can't go further. We tried. We just failed. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Okay. Um... Again, what we're going to do today is going to be on the test, which is going to be one day next week, but it is not going to be on the quiz tomorrow. Tomorrow's quiz is matrix basic. We're now getting to more matrix intermediate level as of today. The good thing, though, is that I'm going to show you how to do some of it by hand, and then the rest of it I'm going to show you how to do it in the calculator. So it's kind of like matrix multiplication where if you really lost me, it's okay because that lovely calculator can save the day. Okay, so... We're going to do something that says evaluate the determinant. Those bars remind you of what? Uh, Mia said it first. You can have the point. They remind you of absolute value bars, which is very deceiving. Because with absolute value bars, all your answers always have to be positive. Page 7 in your notes. Always have to be positive. That's not the case with the determinant. It's okay if it's negative. So just because it looks like the absolute value bars, Anytime you see those bars on the matrix, it's okay if you get a negative answer. Okay, I'm going to put this website on Google Classroom later today along with our notes that explains how to do a 2x2 two two and even a 3x3 three by, three by hand if you're interested. No. You should be. Um, with a 2x2, two two, it's really easy. We actually just end up doing our diagonals. So we'll do one diagonal minus the other diagonal literally that easy. So I don't mind calculating a 2 by 2 by hand. A 3 by 3 is a little more complicated. Oh. And if you... Miss Compton? Yes, ma'am. Have you posted yet? No, ma'am. Okay, if you'll go ahead and post, that'd be great. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Patience, Miss Compton. Patience. Moving on. So I'm going to put this website on Google Classroom. That way you can see it if you're interested. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. In case you're interested in how to do by hand a 3x3, three three, you don't want me to show you there are different ways 
I like to like pick a row and turn it into a bunch of two by twos. It's really not that complicated, but most people, I, you know, it's, we're lazy and we're trying to make life fast. So if you're trying to make life fast, the fastest way to find the determinant of a three by three is with your calculator. Okay, what do we call a matrix? That's a two by two, a three by three, a four by four. Six gets the point. It's a square matrix. So this is only going to work on square matrices. Um, so the best way to explain the determinant is that we're going to need it for later this week. We're eventually going to try to find the inverse of a matrix because matrices are complicated. And so in order to do so, your matrix has to have a determinant. So we have to calculate a determinant. So with a 2 by 2, literally, we're going to just look at the diagonals. I'm going to do the pink diagonal, the product of the pink diagonal, minus the product of the purple diagonal. So 6 times 7 is 42. You hate it when you doubt yourself. Okay, so if you like letters, if you want to write it out like this, if we had a matrix and we're going to call the entries A, B, C, D, for the determinant of a 2 by 2, we're always going to do A, D minus B, C. That means wrong. That feels wrong. Don't you hate it when math feels wrong in your head? Well, it looks legit because I wrote letters. Anytime you write letters, that looks legit. A, D minus B, C, yeah. Okay, so AD is 6 times 7, which is 42. BC is 5 times negative 2, so it's negative 10. But we're doing AD minus BC. So it's AD minus, so it's 42 minus the negative 10. So it ends up being 42 plus 10, which is 52. Hence why I was already mad to begin with, because of the double negatives. So 6 times 7 is 42. 5 times 2, negative 2 is negative 10, but we're subtracting the pink minus the purple. Okay, so let's go ahead and do number 2. Negative 6 times negative 1, I get positive 6. And then it's minus negative 4 times negative 3, I get positive 12. So my answer is negative 6. But again, I get those bars that remind you of absolute value bars. Anytime you see a matrix in the bars, it's okay if we get a negative determinant. We're okay with any of it as long as we don't end up getting zero. If we get zero, that's when life's going to get harder for us because that means there's no inverse. Okay, and then our last one involves yay decimals. So I don't know 8.6 times 5. I'm willing to give a point for it. That feels right. Is it 43? He's right. He said it so, like, not sure of himself. You can add the point, Seth. And then minus 14 times 0.5. I know that. 7. You can have a point, Hunter. 43 minus 7 is 36. So I think. It's easier to do a 2 by 2 by hand. Okay, you go ahead and do number 4, and someone tell me the answer, and you got it, you can get a point. Oh, when you did 14 times negative 3, what'd you get? And then minus 72, and that's how you got the negative 114, and you can have a point. And then number 5. Anybody? Uh, 420. <coughs> uh, two, six, 276. So 420 minus 276, you said? Mm -hmm. Which is what? You have a point. Okay, so you got to admit, 2 by 2 seems pretty easy by hand. I do a 2 by 2 by hand. If you're trying to show work, that would be best to do a 2 by 2 by hand. 
However, is there a button to do all of these things on the calculator? Of course there is. So press second matrix. I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to met edit my matrix A. I'm going to type in our number 4. So our entries were 14, 8, 9, negative 3. So I'm going to type that in. So I have a 2 by 2. It's 14, 8, 9, negative 3. Now, again, by the time you've typed this all in, it was easier to do a 2 by 2 by hand. But I'm at least going to show you how you could do it on the calculator. Okay, so once you have it, second matrix, and you've edited it, and you've changed your matrix to the one we need, you got to quit. And we actually want it to do some matrix math. So second matrix, and when you look over at math, the first thing on the list is DET. That's determinant abbreviated. So that's what we want to do. We want to take the determinant, and I typed it in A, so second matrix, I've got to put A. So let me remind you again, I pressed second matrix, I went over to math, I saw determinant, I pressed enter, and then I tell it which matrix I'm using, and I'm using A at this moment. And then you press enter, and lo and behold, it did it for us. The only issue is we have no math to show. So if Hal makes a typo, whole thing's SOL. Okay, and I say all that, and then when it comes to a 3 by 3 life gets a little more complicated, and it's not as easy to do by hand. So we really do just in Adver 2 Treg, especially regular. I think in pre -AP they make them learn by hand. Trust me, I, a calculator will make it life easier. Unless your matrix is full of zeros, the calculator's going to be fine for a determinant of a 3 by 3 So on number 6, I need to type... Where are you, 6? I need to type this matrix in my calculator. So second matrix... I'm going to type it in B. You can type it in wherever you want. So I've got to edit B. I'm going to make it a 3 by 3. Now, if you try to do the determinant of a non square matrix, it's going to freak out on you. It has to be square. So make sure you did type the right dimensions. Okay, my first row is 3, negative 2, negative 2. So 3, negative 2, negative 2. My second row is 0, 4, 1. So 0. 4, 1. My third row is negative 1, 5, negative 3. Negative 1, 5, negative 3. And then I'm done. Is anyone stuck here? Everyone's good to go on this. Okay, so I want to get out of this. So anytime I want to leave the screen, I second quit. I want to do the determinant. So second math. I press second quit. Quit is in five mode. It gets you out of whatever you're doing. It's like when you press the bottom button on your iPhone and it gets you out of stuff. So I'm going to press second math or second matrix again. So I can do some math. <coughs> I want to do the determinant. I typed it in matrix B, so I have to tell it specifically matrix B. So second, oh, I press the wrong button, quit. Second matrix B. Oh, darn you. Darn you, smart calculator. Outsmart me today. It will not happen this morning. Second math. There you go. So I want the determinant of B. And when I press enter, it's going to give me one number again. Negative 57. So the determinant of B, a determinant of number 6, is negative 57. Now, there is a way to do this by hand, like I'm saying, and I'm going to post the link if you're interested, because I like doing it by hand, to be honest. I like making these. Okay, well, I'm going to go speak to her, and you're going to type in number 7 and tell me the answer when I get back. In fact, if you were on it, you'd type in 8, too. I'm Thank you. 
Thank you so much. In fact, in case of one. Okay, so tell me what the answer was in number eight. Seven. Woo! Seven was 263? No. Negative 63. Negative 63 was seven. Perfect. 54? Perfect. Paige gets two points. Okay, seriously, that's all there is to it with determinants. We're just going to stick to the calculator part unless it's a two by two because I think it's easier by hand, but whatever. Um, and I know it seems silly to do this randomly, but I swear we need it for what's coming next. So, like, a determinant is silly by itself, but we need it for the next part of life. Okay, that's all we're going to do for today on this.